All right, guys, um, this is the first Zoom recording that I'm trying. So uh, if the, the, my voice is a little bit off or a little bit too quiet, just turn up your volume. This is obviously not going to be one where I'm going through the, the grammar of stage 29, but rather the translations. I'm going to try and get through the first set of introductory translations and then the first bit, maybe Knox one. Um, I'm going to break these up into two videos, A, because I want the videos to be short, and B, because uh, YouTube won't let me put up more than a 15-minute video. So let's just jump into it. Uh, you can jump around. I'm just going to be going through the translation and answering some grammar questions for you. So let us see. Here. So <clears throat> model sentences in media Roma. Est mons notismus qui capitolium appellantur. Uh, in sumo capitolio stat templum ubi deus adoratur. So obviously the grammar of stage 29 is about passive verbs. We're going to be seeing a lot of them here. So uh, we start off with that uh, participle, not participle, uh, prepositional phrase in the ablative in, well, it's translated in the middle of Rome, but it's literally in mid-Rome, both ablatives there, is a Mons notissimus, most notable, a very famous mountain, right? Qui, so relative clause, qui clause right there, qui appellatur capitolium, which is called the capital. So it's the Capitoline Hill, it's one of the seven hills of Rome. Uh, notice that appellatur is a passive verb right there, which is called the Capitoline or the capital. In sumo capitolio, in the same, same construction, e, on the summit, the capital line summit, or on the summit at uh, the top of the capital, stands the temple, or stands a temple. Um, so active tense verb right there. Ubi Deus Jupiter adorator, another passive tense verb inside of an ubi clause where uh, the god Jupiter is worshipped. God Jupiter is worshipped. Sorry for these uh, little bars coming up down here, uh, blocking part of that. And follow along with your own uh, slides if you want. So, sub capitolio, jacet form romanum. So, sub capitolio, uh, preposition plus ablative below the capital line, below the capital, jacet, active, lies forum romanum. So, uh, lies the Roman forum. Forum ab in gentium multitudine, hium quotidie, Completor. So the forum is filled, is filled being the passive tense verb there, daily, every day. Um, that's an adverb, although its, it's original form is an, uh, it's derived from an, an ablative. Uh, it's filled by a huge multitude of, of people, of citizens, really. So, uh, ab plus ablatives, they are ablatives of agent, and qium is a genitive plural, their declension. Ali, so, we see alii, we immediately want to say some, and then we're expecting another alii, some and others. Alii, agunt negotium. So that is a, it's an idiom we have to know. Uh, they literally, they, they drive business, but it, it's literally, uh, it should be translated. Some are doing business. Alii, others, stant, stand, in porticibus, in the porticos and the colonnades. So these are the, the overhanging, um, overhanging uh, spots in front of buildings which are used for shade and often for business. Um, et abamikis salutabantur. Uh, or salutantur, sorry. Um, and are greeted by, and then probably put in brackets there, their friends. Uh, abamikis, another ablative agent, and salutantur, obviously passive verb. Still others, so alii, alii, por forum in lec ikis, lec ikis, veruntur. And others, per forum, accused of, of extent there, in lec itis, in uh, sort of like uh, raised carried lounges, uh, couches, uh, veruntur, are carried. So others are carried through the forum in raised couches. We can see uh, right here. This is what uh, an Lectica, a lectica is right there. Uh, ubiqua magnus strepidus auditor. Everywhere, 
so literally and and from all sides it would be magnus streptus uh a large sort of like clamor although it's a fourth declension uh we don't you can't tell it from here although you will see later in another translation how it's fourth declension auditor is heard uh passive tense verb let's keep going Aliquando Pompei splendidae perform du contour. So aliquando, uh, another, it's an adverb, it's an adverb, but it's it's derived from an ablative of time, essentially. So sometimes Pompei splendidae, splendid processions, right? Uh, perform accusative extent through the form du contour are led. So putting it all together, sometimes splendid processions are led through the forum. Cool. Let's keep going. Prope medium forum est templum westae. Ubi ignis sacer a virginibus vestalibus curatur. So, prope, prope plus obviously uh, accusatives. So, near the mid form, or as you see here, it's, it's translated middle of the form. Obviously, form is not properly a genitive. Um, it literally means mid form, but you can translate it as middle of the form. Uh, near the middle of the form is est templum, is the temple, Vestae, genitive right there, of Vesta. Vesta is the goddess of the hearth. Um, very, very important. Like the home fires, you might have heard, keep the home fires burning. Uh, from World War II propaganda and such. Very, very important back then. Um, so near the middle of the forum is the Temple of Vestae, Avesta, where, ubi, ignis sacer, the sacred flame, curator, curator, is looked after, is, we get um, curation from this, is cared for. Another ablative of agent, a Urginibus Vestalibus, by the Vestal Virgins, right? Um, these were, uh, a thing that's often associated with priestesses is they have to be virginal um, for many priesthoods, not all priesthoods, uh, especially not in Mesopotamia. But um, if they were caught uh, breaking this, this um, covenant, they were buried alive. Although, uh, to my knowledge, there's only one, one event in history where that actually happened. Okay, um, in extremo foro stant rostra ubi orationes apud populum habentur. So at the furthest edge uh, of the forum, so really at the edge of the forum, and notice that again, this is, these are two ablatives, ablatives of location in that prepositional phrase within. It's, we, you really can't translate this one uh, at the extreme forum, at the, the edge forum, at the, maybe at the forum edge. Um, better it's on the edge of the forum. You kind of have to do it as a genitive here with foro. Um, stands, stant, the rostra. Uh, a rostrum is a, it's, uh, it's the, the keel, uh, the heel, sorry, not keel, the heel of a ship, uh, no, heel of a ship, the prow of a ship. Yeah, prow of a ship. Um, these, so, Go back to Roman history, the Punic Wars, they collected them after a large victory with the, the um, Carthaginians. They put them in the Roman Forum as a symbol of victory. Anyway, a very, very important place. So at the edge of the Forum stands the rostrum. Ubi, uh, where orationes, where speakers, right, uh, where speakers, uh, or sorry, not speakers, where speeches, uh, habentor are held, another passive tense verb, are held, apud populum, among the populace, among the people. So populus is an interesting word, kind of like our, our word for money. It is a collective singular. So it's a singular noun, obviously accusative uh, with apud, but uh, it, it describes a whole group of people. Cool. Prope rostra, again, another, uh, Accusative plus prope. So near the rostrum, est carcer, is the jail. Ubi captivi populi romani custodiantur. Where the captives, so nominative plural captivi, populi romani, genitives there, of the Roman people, custodiantur, are guarded. 
obviously know what all these color cues are. Uh, let's go ahead and cut the video there, and I will do this next translation in another video. All right, uh, thanks for listening, you guys. And...